Doctors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi folks, Basil Chapman here on this Monday, the 27th of November. We're looking at the Dow. Let's just go there right now. Uh, we've got the Dow in leg. Oops, that's Amazon. We'll get to that in a moment. Let's just first do the Dow. There we go. Dow is in leg D. So this is the this is the technique that I've used forever. Um, identify the lowest low bar, count each successively higher peak by going past the left side peak by one penny. Doesn't matter whether you're trading at 36,703.00. If you go to 0 0.01, that starts a new leg or it extends the leg. So peak A, it's called the floating ledger. If you go one penny, or in this case, 25 cents, if you're using the e-mini futures uh, or in the futures contract itself, if they don't tra trade in pennies, uh, that starts a floating ledger B. It becomes a B when it makes a peak, one penny lower that bar starts a, a downturn. It could be one bar, just one penny lower, and then start a new one, two cents high, and that starts your new leg up. So that's C and that's D. At the fourth highest peak, peak D, peak A, B, C, has got nothing to do with A to B equals C to D. This is just uh, denominating a, a new, uh, in, uh, instead of a numeric a number, uh, an alphabetized sequential letters going A, B, C, D, E, F, G to the upside and same thing on the downside. Lowercase on the downside, uppercase on the um, rising price. At D, other things can happen. You can have a sharp decline, or if within three bars it makes a new leg, you can must immediately consider that could be E slash brand new A, and then F slash B, G slash C, and very often G slash C goes to a D. Wait a minute, don't I have an example of that right here? Mm, where was it? Yeah, there it is. In the one-minute chart, we had a G slash C at about 9.10 this morning, and the technicals were still weak, made a lower low to a D, and then it started to move up, and it went to ABC minus, because that uh, whatever the news was, that selling pressure at the open took the market down to a lower low, and now it's gone peak A, B, C, D, E, and there is an F. It could even be a recycle. This is what I was talking about. So that's uh, quite exciting. The fact that at a peak D uh, in so many of the indices, and that's what we'll go through right now. Look, the daily Dow, leg D, made a new recovery high today by about nine, uh, 11 points. So it went to 35,410. That means it's in leg D right now, extending for the last uh, three days to slightly higher highs. Move that over a little bit and change that to a 10 right there so that's all we do it's a real simple technique 410 if it goes to a higher high i have to change that number um right but look at this the price is way above the nine period moving average the nine is way above the 14 that's the black line <clears throat> the 14 is way above the dash 50 50 is way above the 200 period moving average so you've got incredible support the macd histogram these vertical lines is starting to pull back but the nine is still way above the, uh, this is the nine period differential green line, above the 26 period exponential moving average, the slow moving average. The stochastic's flat at 96. I've been talking about this for about uh, uh, over a week, two weeks now. I've been saying flat and then the 95 or higher percent is just fantastic. At some point, you've got to expect that it's going to be coming down. It's going to go all the way back to the teens or even zero uh, single digits. But at this point, it's holding well. On balance volume is slightly overbought. That's the only indicator I use as an overbought level. Now, going through the daily daily chart, that's one thing. Uh, look at the weekly chart. There's a one-to-one -one expansion that says it should test or make a new recovery high from the August 4th high of 35,679. <clears throat> Uh, what it do it this week, we'll see. Uh, sometimes the week after Thanksgiving can be a little bit shaky. Some profit get, taking is in place. But the moment it goes to 35680, that starts leg C in the monthly chart. 
Look at the look at the weekly um, S and P. Look at the the weekly chart of the S and P. If I can type it in the right place, I always do that, huh? All right there. Must be excellent. Okay, look at this. Here's the weekly chart. 4607.07 was a high of July the 28th, the week of the 28th of July. So far, we're still under that 4600 level, and I call this a gray A. Why is it gray, same as the Dow? Because until it breaks to a new recovery high, above the left side high, this um, is just a single leg to the upside now. On a purely technical basis, let me show you that the, the daily chart, same as the Dow, all the technical, look, four little doji candles in four sessions, that tells you that there's some kind of tiredness within the market, right? That's all it says. But the prices are still fantastic and the stochastic's at 95%. That's the daily. Look at the weekly. The weekly chart, MACD is cross positive. That's a good sign. The stochastics flat at 85%. Well, it's a weekly chart. So it's just, just gone to the 85% level. But that green line is way above the red line. That's good. The unbalanced volume of the blue line is just not even oversold. This is really positive. The um, 9 is over the 14. So there's nothing here that doesn't say, hey, this could be a... This could be a brand new buy signal that's going to be upgraded to a buy mode if we can get to, say, the 4620 level, especially if it's either in this A or maybe even a B, a gray B, but because there's never a G. So this instant restart right here with the low of the 26th of May of 4103.98 is a tad above that one. Technically, that should negate any chance that this is a recycle, this is a brand new move, that this is a recycle. This is a brand new move because we took it out. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a uh, S and P 500, um, a fractional difference. Well, I'm usually pretty strict about it. What's the use of rules if you aren't strict? So I have to consider that if we make a new high in this leg, that's really positive, and that's going to take us in December towards. The 4620, 4630 level, I don't know if it goes to 4818, all time high, but that would be really positive. And I would have to consider that I have to put an up arrow to say it's a buy signal almost immediately upgraded to a buy mode. Well, that's, that's in the future. <laughs> At this particular point, all I can say is everything is very positive. The reason why I did not want to add, I didn't want to go to any short side at all. Look at the QQQ. QQQ is the index. I'm spending time on this because the beginning of the week, getting close to the end of the month. When is exactly that's Thursday? No way. Thursday is the last day of the month. Wow. That was quick. Um, so here we are in the QQQ. A little doji candle makes a, a peak D uh, uh, top at 387.75. I, I just need to check on that price because... There we go, three, 39307. I thought that was wrong. I thought it was from previously. So it's just strange there. 393.07. And it's trading at 389, uh, 389.59 right now. The weekly chart has gone above the, the July high. So here's the question. The bank is good, stochastics at 90%, the on balance volumes at 10 overboard, but pretty good. Is this brand new A or is it an old E? I'll talk about that when we return. Basil Chapman, Titan, Eastern Sour, Dow's only down 34, SP's down 4. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, we're back. So uh, he has a question. Uh, gold is acting very well uh, in terms of holding steady. It's not acting very well in terms of breakout. It hasn't done that. At the moment, it gets to, 20, uh, to, to 2042, 2052, and holds there. I would consider that a very serious breakout to the upside. But at this point, it's just holding extremely well. Silver, on the other hand, has pushed. Uh, I have to call this a brand new uh, leg B. It could be F slash C, but I'm going to call it a B, uh, F slash B. I'm calling it a B because all the technicals have just flourished as this peak D digestive phase has unfolded and it went to a Chevrolet falling X breakout pattern. So this still is really young in its in its uh, daily life because it should still go to a C and a D. Um, I, I might have to change that to I just don't see any reason why I should. And it's a leg B in the weekly chart. So I just wanted to explain that within each sector, it's just that when I went through charts over the weekend, of course, I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. Um, I had time to go through different charts and different time frames. I also did this right here. Let me just do this for one second because it was fun to do. Uh, I did this going through all these different charts with a black background, just looking to see uh, are the technicals confirming what I like to see. Um, let's go to gold right here, GC. Look, it's just holding steady. It's positive. The, ni the nine's over the 14. Look at the difference in the silver. But you can you can see this in um, in sectors as well. That's well, some stocks within the sector are just breaking to the upside. Very few actually within the sector leading the sector higher. But some in the same sector are just looking terrible. So uh, here's silver. Look at that. Going towards the left side, high over there. All the technicals are very good. Uh, the other thing I did was, oh, I hope I've got the chart here because I lost it. I, I've got the projections. I spent a lot of time on this the other day. Look, here are the projections. Um, 
So this is the daily chart. Let's just do this very quickly. Um, INDU, this is the Dow, and you can see it's got uh, Chapman Wave projections. That's giving you uh, the resistance and the support levels. I uh, wish my dear friend Herb was still alive and he'd be able to help me uh, to change the colors. This should be red on the way up as resistance and green on the way down for support. Anyway, um, so what we're looking at is 35,572 is the automated resistance in the Dow on the daily chart. Look at the S&P. S&P has 4566 and it's stalled right there. Look at the QQQ. Oh, and look at the look at the way the 200 period moving average and the automated support levels came in just perfectly. Oh, I'm embarrassed to say that I didn't take it as seriously as I should. Look, even the Dow, look at that, 32,000, uh, what is that, 32,405. And the actual low was 32,327. Um, 32, Not bad, huh? So I have to respect these. Now let's go to the gold and you'll see. Gold has a bunch of resistance levels right here. Still acting very well. Silver broke right through that today. When it breaks through, it turns it not into support necessarily, but it says that there's internal strength. And that when you come back, see how it handles that as support if, if, if it does come back. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying, well, look at the U.S. bonds. A whole bunch of resistance levels there. So my, my the more work I did over the weekend, the, lot, the greater the chances I thought that Yields are, are pulling back somewhat, but I think they're going to be stuck in a range. I've been doing about range bound for quite some time. I think that that's accurate, that the, it's in a range. It's moving towards the lower part of the range, but it's still kind of stuck in the range. So that's very important. So I did a bunch of these things. Um, actually, I had a question about, so let me just do this question. Ooh, did I? Yeah, I did. So the question came in. Let me go from the beginning. Um, Amazon. What leg is it in? Well, first of all, I'm just going back here to see the questions that came in for me today. Okay, so here's Amazon. This is a chapter of automatic. Look, at, look how these support levels held, even though it then broke down, but it certainly held for a little bit, and then resistance as well. This is for the dollar, for the U.S. bonds. This is the U.S. Treasury bonds. Now, let's go to Amazon. Amazon. Look at that, a whole bunch of resistance levels. It's challenging them, but it's doing very nicely. Let's go to, uh, someone asked me if I could go through Microsoft. Microsoft has a bunch going all the way from 381 to 386. It's trading right now, 377, just down a fraction. So these are automated. I did them based on the MACD and the stochastic. I gave him a bunch of rules, and these are the rules that he set it up for. Okay. So let me come back now to what we were talking about. So within the context of leadership, <clears throat> the, what happens with silver very often is that, so I'm going to make this E slash A, because at that point, the technicals were just starting to improve. So I, I would normally have gone to E slash A, and then it broke out. I, I really, I might have to change this, but at this point, I really have to think of this as a B. So that's a breakout for silver. So the question came in, would I be looking, um, I'll, I'll defer to the Amazon, Amazon right here. Amazon is on leg E. So look, here's your low point at 118.35 late October. That so it goes, leg A, it's a floating letter until it makes a peak. So that's A, that was A, that was a higher, 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 high until it makes a lower high, which is right there. So here's your peak A on the 7th of November at 143.37. The very next day, it has 143.12 is the high. That becomes a peak. It has another day of weakness. And then what does it do? It goes to a higher high at 143.65. That becomes B. The very next session pulls back for a peak B. Now, this A would fail if you if this pulled back all the way under 118.35. So what I'm looking at here is this is, becomes a D. That peak didn't go above that, but that one did. And today's leg E. So all of the things are saying, and I would have done this just based on the Chapman Wave methodology, which I've done for years. I just didn't feel comfortable to say that we should go short the indices at this particular point. There's still some residual strength. Might miss the exact top. But I have to tell you that, look, a breakout, it's not even a cup formation. It's gone to a higher high. 
for uh, for three weeks it's gone above 145.86 Amazon on the weekly chart, but it's closed above there. Well, this week is still we've just started the week, but last week it did close above there. So this is I have to consider that this might be an alternate count. I don't know. I'm calling it an F for now. So this is E in the daily, F in the weekly, and C in the monthly chart. And I'm going to go to Garo in Newport Beach. Garo, how are you? How are you, sir? I'm well, thank you. Do you have a good weekend? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's very good. How about yours? Very good. Exciting. It was always nice to have uh, my children and grandchildren together. So we, we had a lot of fun. You're looking at? Good. Good. I'm looking at SHOT, S-H-O-T, please, uh, so we looked on at a this. daily basis, on a daily chart. Yes, uh, uh, it is uh, bare, <clears throat> but uh, the 60 minute uh, today um, at open it turned bull. Uh, uh, I bought, I bought a little bit of that. Uh, I, I need your idea and uh, the, the, uh, what is your what's your idea regarding today? So, folks, we're looking at shot, which I always forget. I've got to type in it's safety shot ink. Um, it hit a high in the 740s just the other day, and it dropped into about just under three dollars, and now it's at 414. We'll look at it as soon as we return with Garo. Dow's down 35, S&P's down five. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi right, folks, we're on with uh, Garo in Newport Beach and we're looking at the stock called Shot, S-H-O-T, 
Safety Shot Inc. It aids in alcohol breakdown and recovery. Probably this is a good period to be looking at it. Um, it's at 407. So, Garo, when I look at the, uh, I always do the, uh, if you're going to look at it, then I always look at the, very. if you get an intraday trade, it made a PD on this open this morning. The gap, oh, oh, is that today? No, that's that was on Friday. Yeah, so today is pulling back a little bit from the intraday high of 445. It had a low of 383. This is a really important phase as we're looking at it right now. It's at 406. It needs to get and hold. It mustn't break under 390. Otherwise, that 385, 200 period moving average is going to be hit very quickly. As it is, I think it's running out of energy a little bit too quickly. But I'm just saying to you, if you hold and you've got to stop in place, you want to see it, first of all, uh, at least for a couple of minutes, because I'm sure you're watching it on a minute-by-minute minute basis because you're in it for a trade. Um, it needs to close above 422. 419 was the last high, but really 422 will say, you know what, I'm making a U-shaped pattern. I'm trying to get back, maybe not to the 440 level, but I'm at least trying to test the 430s. So it's... You know, it's not a great-looking chart at all. It had that spectacular move, and it must have been news-related in the daily chart. But this, this very short-term one says to me, it's uh, it's probably not ready to go back to the highs that it made recently. It needs maybe another day or so of recovering. All I can say is if you have a stop in place, and that stop holds, and it very slowly makes slightly higher highs and higher lows as it moves up, if at any time today, if it can hit 450, because this thing moves so quickly, if it can hit 448 to 451, that's a really good sign. It says there's a good chance it's going to try to close at the high of the day. But right now in the short term, ah, it's starting to lose momentum, and that makes me a little nervous. I don't know how that fits into what you're looking at. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, same thing. Uh, here I'm, I'm waiting. Uh, if, it, if it goes below, if it goes below 395, I'm going to yep. get out. Okay. Uh, I bought it at 360 pre market at uh, um, uh, 650, 6 o'clock in the morning, our time, California. Uh, but it, uh, my, my point of uh, quitting that is 395. Uh, that is the five minute chart. Uh, where the dot, uh, if, where the candle is going to hit there. So, if it hits there and the candle moves up immediately, I'm going to sell it. Otherwise, okay. I'm going to keep it a little bit longer. And I wish I would have sold it at four dollars and thirty cents. I mean, I yeah. made a ton of money, but uh, I got a little bit greedy. But you're absolutely right. I know this is going to run out of energy. Absolutely, uh, run out of momentum. Yeah. So, but I do thank you very much for your time, sir. Appreciated your idea. Thank you, sir. Good, but don't forget to take some of those profits. You had fantastic gains up at the 445 <laughs> level. So, you know, I'm not telling you anything you don't know. You know that, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank so, you, sir. Thank you thank for you. calling, Garo. Good. Bye-bye. So, folks, bye-bye. So, folks, what we want to look at here is, um, so the question was, Amazon, what is it? What leg is it? It's in leg E, but it's a very strong leg right now. So that, to me, you see, as I'm going through the different charts, what I'm really looking at is what are the signs that would give me a, that would give me some kind of indication that just as we got the high, the exact day of the high in the Dow uh, back August the first, I N D U, uh, August the first, because I anticipated that the not, the on balance volume, which was very overbought right there, you can see it right there. Um, I was anticipating that that, together with the DOG, which is the inverse, the mirror image, uh, was at a trough. I was expecting that that was really a good risk reward opportunity. The fact that it worked out well, that, that's almost irrelevant to the fact that the timing had to be precise if it was correct. Now, what I'm looking at on the upside. 35,679 was the high in August. Here we've gone to 30, 35,410. Of course, you can do 250 points in, in an eye blink these days. But it's starting to stall a little bit. Uh, it's kind of shaky. It just says it got a little shaky over there. 
but I never got the clue that the unbalanced volume in this particular instance is not at a high. It's not giving me any signal right now. So I'm looking at it that way. So the question came in, why why didn't you short as you always do in leg D and looking at, uh, we haven't made a peak D yet. That's number one. And number two is I didn't want to over anticipate something when all the technicals are pretty darn good. The only thing that I would look at here is um, Amazon is a good clue. Uh, what else have we got? We've got Apple. Is that moving up today? No, it went. Oh, I had to redo this. This made a, a peak right here. Look, C, D doji candle, E, very nominal E, and then a nominal F with a doji candle and a reversal underneath the previous high of 188.23 in July. So this high of 190, I think it was 380 or something. Let me just double check here. One, 190, 192.93. So that that is just a little bit of a pullback at this particular point. And the technicals are not, the on-balance volume is a tad overboard, but there's nothing else here that says to me, oh my God, this is going to be a big pullback. This is a little, just a little breather that we've got for a couple of days maybe. So that's what I'm looking at. it. And the other question came in, um, Microsoft had three doji can two doji candles going from Thursday to Friday. That made a peak E. But look, it's above the nine period moving average. The nine is above the 14. The MACD is pulling back. That's a sign to say a little bit of weakness there. But the stochastics at 90, that's fabulous. And the on balance volume is just steady, a little bit overbought and steady. And that weekly chart has a potential for a Chapman wave squash formation. I don't want to go into that right now, other than to say that would imply there's a chance that Microsoft is not in leg E, but in leg A. But I don't want to go there because I have to wait the full week to see what happens by the end of the week. So here we go. So that was a question there. Next question was, uh, Basil, would you, would you sell SSRM and buy HMY or GFI? Thanks. Exchange one gold for another. So let's just look at that because this is a question that, for instance, we went, we went long a gold stock today, <clears throat> South African. Uh, I'm originally from South Africa, but that, that wasn't my bias. My bias was just that they're acting a little bit better than the other countries, the gold stocks. Um, but when you look at, let's just go back to gold now. Is it holding? Uh, now it's giving back just a little bit. It's up 8.7. Now, is this a leg D? Well, it can't be yet because that's peak C1, C2, meaning that we fractionally must making a new high, and that takes you to two, 2,000 on the continuous contract, 2019.7. Um, and this high today is 2018.9, another dollar higher, and then I can make a decision. Is this a new C? That was the end of a buy mode, starting a new buy signal to buy mode here. Or is it just going to be a double top at a fractional new high, which is really a leg D? because it didn't take out the original starting point. So this could be a continuation pattern and it's still a peak A in the weekly chart. So we'll talk about that, but we, what we want to do when we get back is to look at HM, well, SSRM is the first one. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman, Dow's down uh, about 50, SB's down five. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. The SSR Mining is trading at $11.39, up 7 cents, but it really is an ugly chart. This is not a good looking chart. HMY Harmony, uh, I back on the East Rand in, in Johann near Johannesburg, where I grew up as a, as a teenager. I was born in Cape Town, South Africa, but as a teenager, I lived there in a mining town. The uh, only thing I did about the mines was to try to ride my bike up the the little stone, uh, uh, yeah, or the stone. My my grandfather, I believe, I never ever knew this, but way back had a stone cutting operation, which means all the stones that get taken out when people are looking for gold and diamonds and all that, you've got to crush it in so that you can use those pieces. Anyway, we were trying to ride up to see how far we can get on the little of the stones, but that's about it. Um, and uh, so how many gold, as I say, South African ADR, are trading up nine cents at 585. That's a really nice chart, didn't quite finish it. So this daily chart, the weekly chart, that's your low. Remember, you've got to scroll to the left. That's your only objective in the channel wave is to identify the lowest obvious low bar and then count each success, successively higher. Peak A, uh, B, C, D, E. Objective is get to upgrade a buy signal to a buy mode, implying it should go to at least a D. Well, it went to an E, sharp pullback, and then it started a brand new move in a cup formation. Um, and that means the weekly chart is already, this is a parallel high. Let me just double check for uh, 343, I'm sorry, 419, 494, hey, wait, wait, wait a minute, 432, 432, yes. So this is A, this is B, this is C. So you're in a buy mode, the weekly chart has it in leg C, a uh, very nice looking chart. If I had to do a Chapman Wave uh, left side, right side price time match, that's bar symmetry. You go from the left side to the exact low right there. Look, here it is. You can't make these things up. It's right there. That's uh, on the keyboard, right? You've got to play the right notes. And there it is. Now we're going to go to the right side, see what happens. Is the same number of bars on the way down equal to this number of bars to that exact high? Uh, on the way up, we'll see in a moment. I think it misses it by one bar. There it is. Yes, it, it's one bar early, and uh, it took out that left side high. So this is leg C. That's really positive. So you're in a G slash C. That usually says 
This is because it's an instant restart. These are great examples of Chapman, but this is not Technical Friday, so I don't want to take too much time. But you went to your second, you went to your next higher peak after D within three bars. It was actually two bars. So that's E slash A, F slash B, G slash C. Usually it pulls back, makes a nominal peak D, and then you've got to be careful. So that's very good action, 585. And GFI, Goldfields, Goldfields Limited, trading at 1370, up 27 cents, has this resistance level. Also, a very nice looking chart, but it hasn't really gotten to its left side, right side price time match to the 16 level. It's trading at 1370. That's a long way to go. And that says if it was to do the match, that would be by the end of December to get there. It has a little time. Which one do I prefer? I prefer the leadership. So I, I know it's at a high and it makes it difficult. So I'm going to just say to you, why don't you take the money out of the one? It gives you it gives you half of the price of um, Harmony Gold. Therefore, I would put money in here at 585, but I would wait to add the second half to uh, just wait for a pullback. And you, let's be in touch because uh, give me a yell when you see a it trading. It's at 585. If at any point in the next week and a half it trades under 540, give me a yell because then I would say maybe that's the place you add the second the second part. All right. So Harmony is the one that even though it looks like um, GFI has more to go to the upside, this is, shows leadership. It means that it's going to be participating as a leader of the group. And that's kind of what you want. And it's not a, it's not high price. It's at 586. Um, if it was at 58, I'd say almost the same thing. But obviously, you're going to not be able to switch. Uh, then the amount of money that goes in is the same, but the actual value of the number of shares isn't. So I hope that helps you. So, or you could say, I'll, I'll wait for a pullback for both of them. But at this point, gold looks like it just has a little more to go, and then it's going to take a breather. Oh, I have to put that in to, together with the dollar. Look, the dollar is almost at my target. Uh, the 102, what did I say it was? Uh, this left side low, uh, we had one right there. I had to move these uh, icons around, so I'm always hunting them. Yeah, this is it. So the week of, no, it's a daily chart. On the 30th of August, it hit 102.94. It looks like it needs to test that. Uh, the MACD and Stochastic are still weak. The 9 period moving average is still weak. So it would be a bounce more than anything. And as that dollar, which is getting close to a bounce area, that could be when the market itself takes a breather. I'm, I'm thinking any day now we should have some kind of a breather in the general market. But at this point, I'm not looking for a major sell. I'm looking for a breather, that meaning maybe three to five days of down move. One of the days could be very sharp, and then it just takes takes its time to form a base, something like that. And the dollar bouncing could do that. But if dollar bounces, it'll initially have a good move, and then it might start to stall in the 103.80 to 104.20 area. I don't know yet whether it'll be a bigger move than that. So I'm just saying you've got time, but you can start positions, and that's what I want. So I hope I, that helped you. Next question is... Um, Monday. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, it is Monday. Um, I'm I'm seeing leg D slash E on GLD and leg G on physical. Okay, let me do this. Oh, a little gold talk there, huh? GLD. Yeah, this is a brand new leg D. So yeah, it's your first peak D. Don't, doesn't it look very similar to the chart we were looking at just a little while ago? So here we go. Uh, but this is a little bit more. This is already in, look, peak A, identify the low bar, peak A. It's always great to do it historically because we're looking back. You can't be wrong. <laughs> Otherwise, it's sort of tough. So this is almost double topish. A, B, leg B is started in the weekly chart. This is Spider Gold Trust. I love the IAU, although we don't have a position. I wanted to get it. Somehow, I just kept holding off, holding off. But the IAU trade, look. The Spider Gold Trust, GLD trades at a tenth the price of spot gold. The um, IAU 
trades at a tenth the price of the GLD. And it's exactly the same chart, but I'd rather, I'd rather pay 38 bucks than the than the $186. That's just the way I'm looking at it. Same chart, same price, same everything. Uh, you could put the same amount of uh, shares to work, but money-wise, but I, I just, this is the way I am, okay? I just like it better. So this is above the left side, high GLD, and the MACD, everything here is technically pretty good. Uh, Stochastic's at 84%. On Balance Farms uh, hasn't quite caught up, but I think there's going to be a bit of catch-up in the gold stocks. And gold could have a little bit of a breather coming up soon. So that's the reason why I said uh, we will enter to a gold stock. And PHYS, PHYS, uh, Fizz, that's the physical gold. That's called the, if I can actually read it, that's the Strat, the Strat, 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 physical uh, gold. There's also peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. They're, they look almost the same. I'll be back. Dow's down for The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Uh, yes, I didn't show you this. This is physical gold. So this is peak A, yes. Peak B, peak C, leg D. It becomes a peak if there's a lower high bar. So just a couple of things I need to do. I almost forgot. So, Gary, thank you for those pictures of the Rolls Royces, et cetera. That was unbelievable. I, 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 there's no question in my mind that we're going through that same period as the 1950s or the 19, late 20s in terms of automobiles and design. So this is, uh, even the 1930s, were fantastic design for those people that can afford a car. So look at this. This is R-O-Y-R-R. Uh, uh, 
R-Y, yeah, yes, R-Y-C-E-F. This is Rolls-Royce. Uh, and remember, Rolls-Royce, actually, the motors themselves are made by BMW, but Rolls-Royce itself makes the chassis, I believe. Look, really nice comeback, but not and in the week, daily, weekly, but the monthly shows you that it once was up in the 14,000s and is now down in the 2300s. But wait a minute, look at this. I had to redo some of the chart because I lost some of the notation. Ferrari, I think this is an all-time high at 369. So, and that fits this market very well. So, yeah, there's, there's Ferrari. Race is a symbol. Uh, leg B in the weekly chart, leg C in the monthly, and leg D in the in the daily. So these Ds are all saying to me, we're getting real close to some kind of a, a, a digestive phase. So if you do, you can I look at AU? I'll do that as I'm talking right here. AU is a gold stock. This is Anglo Gold, Ashanti. Now, this is acting okay, but it's almost like that SSR, except this one did bounce off the low. So at 17.60, you really want to see if there's any pullback in gold that this doesn't take out um, 60 right now. If it doesn't take out 1660 support and instead can try for 18.15 in the next few days, that's what you want to see. But it's really not a great looking chart. So with that, wow, did I cover it? I didn't cover everything, but anyway, I covered a chunk. Um, yes, we're coming a little bit cautious here. And that's just based on the chapter of methodology of the lettering. When you get to a D, other things can happen. I haven't done anything yet. So stay tuned. Have a great